Obviously, watch the games, the likes of Everton, you know, West Ham at home, Bournemouth at home. Is that team teams that will play, as we say now, with a you know a, a low block that try to make it difficult for you, pack defences? Have you, what have you found difficult about that? Yeah, I mean that's probably where we've had our recently um, teams coming and setting up, particularly at the bridge, and our home form has not been great. So that they, they do set up in, like you say, a, a low block, and how we tended to be is how we pretty much regularly play was is definitely with the. The two wingers and the, and the uh, striker with Tammy there generally. Yeah. Um, and then we've just changed a little bit for different games, and generally that depends on, in, on personnel and it's whether you decide to put Mason in in the sort of number ten role um, and get give them a problem behind their midfield, or you go either side and you try and get behind them slightly to the sides and play like that, and then with a with a one pivot behind. Um, so I, what I don't mind the idea of having is fluidity about how we play. So. I don't have to say that's a one and a two. It can quickly be uh, a two and a one in game because I think with the midfield players we have, they all have abilities where they can play in different positions. Yeah. The problem with I think we've had recently, which has sort of been the disappointing thing from my point of view, is that when you see that clearly, it's like there are two lines there, and you've got to break the lines. And at times that means making runs and making runs and making runs and making runs from behind um, and it's so easy to get into a, uh, an easy safe phase of playing in front of that block I'm not saying we've done that all the time but when we're breaking it and breaking those lines you have to be just relentless Relent brave so I think that's something you, uh, uh, you yeah. alluded to last week you, you know, about being brave taking chances mm. taking risks with your passing as well yeah. and, and that's something obviously you did when you played in that Chelsea team yeah and, you know, and, and I think probably when we talk about the youth in our team that can be understandable sometimes when the mm. game gets a bit hard and particularly when you're at home and the fans expect and they see uh, a low block um, they, they expect that we can create and some games we have created a lot but in other, other, the last game Bournemouth was the one that I said we didn't create enough there lads we were mm. safe and we played in front now what we're also trying to do is also get our full backs into play and I think we all know the modern game the full back is, the, is like the fancy thing isn't it and mm. probably Liverpool set that tone in the last two years with the amount of assists that they're getting from, from wide. So we do ask for that. If, if William does want to end up in inside pockets, which we're obviously very comfortable and happy for him, and Pulisic, Callum, Pedro, those kind of players to be there, can we join in? And when you're joining in, have we then become that two again where you have a little bit of security because you're very happy to let the, the fullbacks push on?